Hey guys, Bruto here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode where we're back in our ocean runner. But this time, I have 40, 40 deep lines baited with herring ready to go. It's quite noisy out here. I don't know if it's too noisy for you guys. Turn my headphones down a little bit. My headphones are a little bit noisy. Look at that. That is beautiful. Um, so, I don't know if you guys probably can't see from here but back there there is a 5,000 hook long line that goes from here all the way to whoop whoop over here somewhere when I got rid of all of my deep uh, all of my hook lines and put the deep lines on it wouldn't let me set the deep lines it was still trying to get me to set um, the hook long lines so that's a bit of a bug that the developers do know about but one way around it is I went back and brought a 5,000 hook deep line. So sell everything except for one if you want to change from hook lining or long lining, I should say, to um, deep lining or nets. Keep one of whatever you've got on board, bait it, go and set it somewhere, and just leave it. But make sure you do that after you've changed from long line to deep line, and that'll stay there. And after 72 hours, it'll disappear. And then now we can actually set a deep line so I can actually put it over here I think I, oh no there you go so I can prepare it ready to go and I can set it if I want so that's a way around that bug so the developers do know about it developers are onto it it's just going to take them a little bit of time um, one thing I wanted to quickly oh Jesus did we, oh, did we hit him I've got auto drive auto drive set up and I think we did smack into it because we're plenty of damage on our hull uh, iceberg that is an iceberg luckily um, it's not um, we're not the Titanic otherwise it would have sunk anyway let's get back to what we're doing um, hopefully I can get around him without hitting him this time um, yeah anyway one other thing I wanted to mention was um, I've noticed a lot on Steam that there's plenty of people on there that are absolutely giving the developers heaps, um, being pretty abusive, pretty aggressive, um, saying a lot of nasty stuff. Now, yes, I'm annoyed at how the game is at the moment, um, and the bugs and stuff that aren't being fixed overly quick, but one thing we've all got to remember is they've spent days, weeks, months, years developing this game. Now it's finally out after two delays, aren't they entitled to a bit of time off? You know, sitting there and abusing the crap out of them, you know, behind your keyboard, isn't going to make them work any harder. So, as I said, I'm frustrated. Most of you guys are probably frustrated, but let's show the developers a bit of respect. After all, they've spent their, you know, spent their hard-earned time, you know, spent a lot of time making this game for us, the gamer. So show them a bit of respect. It'll all get fixed eventually. It just takes time. You know, and if you guys are that upset that, um, you know, playing the game at the moment is really annoying you, don't play it. Play something else. Go back to Barrett C. Go to something else. You know, don't take it out on the developers. They're doing the best they can. And as I said, it all takes time to get these things fixed. So just calm down a little bit would be an idea. Um, one thing I want to do, I think there's an, a spot here we need to unlock. But yeah, that's all I'll say on that. I know some people are extremely frustrated and I'm one of those people but you know as I said the guys deserve a bit of time that actually oh, didn't even give it to us go over and get it there we go Bay of Fundy discovered um, give them a bit of a time just to get it done and it'll happen when it happens so just as I say to a lot of people calm your farm alright so what I want to do now is get fishing obviously that's the main reason why I'm here after I've you know got a little bit of a little bit of stuff off my chest early in the episode so I've shown you guys a couple of ways around bugs at the moment this the bug with our current crew members the bug with not being able to change from long lines to netting deep lines etc so hopefully that'll help you guys now what I'm gonna do is come down here and I want to go over to where this tuner is I want to probably start at the front of where the tuner is. I think I want to just run this way. So, bring the boat down. Hopefully we don't hit anybody else. 
So the last thing I want to do, let's actually grab this guy back over there. There's a guy repairing, he can stay there for a while because it's going to take a long time to repair that damage. Uh, whoopsie. Um, and we'll get down here. I'm going to run all 40 lines out down through here because we've got 60,000 kilo capacity on that boat. And I think on average we're getting between six and 900 kilos per deep line. So we're not even going to get 40,000 kilos. We're probably not even going to half fill our boat with the 40 deep lines we've got on. But yeah, I still want to throw them all out and um, see what happens. The only thing I'm worried about is getting to the edge of the map. Probably won't hit the edge of the map, to be honest. Uh, let me set this. I want to sort of go straight. Set that. Um, have a look. Yep, it's all on. So you can come out and prepare the gear. Let's set that one. Ooh, that was a bit of a weird glitch as well. Now hopefully, I haven't actually upgraded any of our... Um, any of our sonar or radar or anything, I don't think. So, right, I'm going to set all these out. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to quickly pause the episode here. And um, I'll bring you guys back. Actually, I might do a bit of a time lapse here with some music in the background. And um, I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to um, really now first long line. guys well I'm back so the guys have done a great job got some um, up to 93% worth of repairs and everything was thrown out except for one because I only went to 40 and I forgot we already had um, that long line out so I have one extra deep line on the boat 
that um, I forgot to put the set. So, pretty silly, isn't it? Um, I've got the bait set for the tuna, so hopefully we can get a decent amount of tuna. Try and get this boat full. Hopefully we don't sink, though. Or we'll have the water coming up. See, another thing I said, like, a bug is the tuna. They fall through the boat like they have before. Yep, they do, unfortunately. So 775 kilos. There we go. So even if we um, get that much from all this, we're not going to have 60,000 kilos, but we are going to have a huge amount of tuna on the boat. So it's going to be really good. What we might do is reel in, I don't know, a couple more or something along those lines. I might set, um, well, let you guys go. I'll throw in another time-lapse of us hauling this in and bring you guys back in when we actually um, are up to the last deep line. See exactly how much we have on the boat when that happens. I'll try and leave um, the weight down the bottom here. Like this, 844 kilos. I'll try and leave the weight there for a little bit so even during the time-lapse you guys can actually see how much I'm getting per line if you want to actually see. I might do it at times three, so I'll leave it there for a little while so you guys can actually see. Only okay? Come on. So yeah, as I said, the bugs are a bit of an issue, like this bug, how they're not actually grabbing it properly together. That looks, actually that looks really good. There we go. I mean, swordfish are still flopping around and hitting the rail, but that looks a lot better than the way they bring in the tuna. That just looks shocking. So that's a bug, and the fish falling through the bottom of the boat is a bit of a bug, and just, you know, visual things that I need to fix, but I know eventually it'll all get done, hopefully, and let's give these devs a bit of time, a bit of time to relax, and a bit of time to get things fixed, and the game to get polished a little bit more, and it'll be bloody amazing. Like, I'm still having a lot of fun with it now, that's why I'm still recording the episodes. I was a little bit frustrated about the whole crew thing, and a few other bugs, but, um, now you just got to play the game and take it for what it's worth at the moment. As I said, if you don't, if you're not enjoying it, go play something else. Easy. Right, so I'll throw in a time lapse now, guys. So um, don't go anywhere. We'll be back after our time lapse.
Radio guys, we're back. So we've only got a few more to pull in. 39 and 40, of course. So we're just pulling in some more here. We've got plenty on board. We've got 92 tuna, 15 swordfish on at the moment. You know, we should have 26,000 kilos on by the time we get these three in. Oh, nearly, not quite. It's only 491 kilos, those three tuna. Only baby ones. But um, our boat is still sinking even with only half the boat well, not even half the boat full the boat still sinks when we go slow enough which is disappointing but um, I know the devs are onto things like that so hopefully it won't take it too long to get it fixed we've got three on here we've got three on three tuners hopefully three big ones hopefully you guys enjoy the time lapses if you do make sure you let me know because I can get more um all content done and you guys aren't really missing anything. I'm not skipping bits and pieces, cutting the stuff in and out, just going straight from a time lapse. You know, back to live play, that sort of stuff. You guys let me know if you like it. That way you're not missing any visual stuff. Um, and, you know, you don't have to just take my word for it that I did something. You can actually see me doing it in three times speed as well. We've got their three tuner on board. Well, that was a perfect. Well done, boys. Well done. Uh, where's their deep line? Here it is. Uh, not so good for Victor. Not very good well, for Josh, I should say. Not very good for Josh. And even worse for Victor. Josh is actually quite tired. Lucky he doesn't just fall over. 860 kilos, which is 27,631, I think. Uh, can we move them? No, we can't move them. Alright, hopefully this isn't an issue. Um, let's go back to here. No, the guy... Oh, there we go, I can move him. Oh, now we can. Maybe we've just got to get them away for a little bit. So, thank you boys. Thank you. Great work. Right, so we'll head back um, and see where we can sell these bad boys at. So, going to our finance tab again for our fish prices. Tuna and swordfish, crap. Gildenberg, 17, 13, 17, 14, 18, 11, 17, 14, 16, 14. Oh, wow, okay. So, 14, 97. 14, 97. 14, 97. are still our best. And 16, 10 for swordfish at Digby. So, it's still quite low. Um, swordfish and tuna. That is actually really disappointing. Ah, alright, well, we're not going to make a massive amount, but we're going to make some money. Um, I think, is that Digby here? Yep, yeah, it is. So back to where we originally started. Fast travel for there, 2 hours, 28 minutes. <gasps> Don't have enough fuel. Oh no, I didn't think I would. Uh, okay, where's the next price? Digby, 1497. 1452 at Dennis Point. Dennis Point or Lockport, I think is going to be our next ones. Uh, I think Dennis Point is even further. Do you know there? It's the closest one. Where's Lockport? There. So let's go to Dennis Point. Don't have enough fuel. You're kidding me, don't you? Aren't you? How do we not have enough fuel? Uh oh, I wonder if I can. I might have to drive there myself. Oop, let's um get rid. Yep, get rid of that. Go here. Autopilot. And autopilot there. I wonder if I'm gonna have to do that. Um, yep, autopilot's on. Make sure he's gonna go flat out. All right, what I will do is I will put a cut in here. I don't want you guys to have to watch me drive the whole way, even if I am time lapsing. So all I'm going to do is head into uh, was it Dennis Point, and um, hopefully, hopefully we won't run out of fuel. Hopefully we don't sink with the waves coming through the boat. So guys, I'll be back in a sec. Ready, right guys? We're back. Just pulling into Dennis Point. We are on fumes. I did actually uh, fast travel 
to Wood Harbour, Woods Harbour Lighthouse, and then I've just driven from there to here. So, luckily we're going to make it on fuel. Not concerned about getting here on empty, because we're going to make that much money anyway out of this, well, make a decent amount of money out of um, our fish, our catch, to um, more than cover our fuel costs. How are our guys doing? Are they both um, uh, still resting, so not quite perfect yet, but Right, let's dock here at Dennis Point. Like to sell that fish, we will. I mean, the price is bad, really. It's bad, but 429000 Sell catch. It's just up to $958,000, so nearly a million. Quickly check the bank. Um, I do have a couple of loans to pay off, which is fine. I'm going to go to maintenance and refuel. Definitely refuel. Um, change name, I'm going to leave it as Ocean Runner. If you guys have got any suggestions, leave it in the comment section and we'll change the name of the boat next episode, potentially. Uh, check my upgrades. I think everything's pretty much done. The radar's not done. Don't really need it, but I will do it just in case. Autopilot fishing quote, I'm not going to worry about. The sonar, it's not a big deal at the moment. Boys, gutting, searchlight, uh, and thrusters. I'm not going to worry about thrusters either. So what I'm going to do is um, send our guys both to the crew house so they can have a bit of a rest. Going to go back, fishing gear, bait them. I'm going to bait them. I don't know how we're going for... I think we should still be good. Hey, hey, watch out. This, ooh, he's, he was close. Ah, that's another issue that I found at times. Uh, go through and we can spend minus 92 quadrillion billion machillion dollars. We don't want to do that. We only want to bait uh, 39. If I can get the right one. There we go. Uh, shouldn't they be herring? They're all squids. Why did I do squids? I didn't do squids. I'm sure I did herring. Or is it stuck? I think it was, yeah, I think it's stuck on the squid. I can't go back to herring after a quick on, quick on squid. Ah, oh, okay, bait deep lines. Ah. Oh. Roof squid, yes. There we go. Roof squid, so I can do this manually for each one. Not going to take too long, I guess. Bit of a pain. I mean, we're getting money back, but still. Make sure you do it the right way the first time. Wouldn't have this issue. Um, so what I might do is I will um, end the episode here anyway, guys. I'll get this done. I'll throw in a quick save. Um, come back next episode. We might head out and do some more tuna fishing. Try and bring in some more cash again. Um, I want to look at our next boat we're gonna do maybe we might have to go crab fishing no one's put in complaints about crab fishing yet I know the lobster fishing is still bugged so I'm not even gonna show that to you guys yet um, I only want to show it when it's you know fully fixed and ready to go there's no point in me showing you something that's bugged and only causing more frustration for both you and me I guess so we'll try and see how the the crab fishing goes Hopefully it's not bugged, but I will save before we even get to that point. I might even look for another bigger boat so we can actually do um, some more net fishing and stuff. But I think they're quite expensive. Uh, not Guilty does the lobster, that's it. So all these guys we don't really need to worry about. We did have that before. And uh, let's go Owned. Don't have anything other than the Ocean Runner and the Mickey. So what are we up to? Um, swordfish, so we're ha nearly halfway through our tuna. So we're going to have to try and get some swordfish, definitely. Um, maybe not next episode, but the episode after. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Got to get out of this guy's way. If you um, have an idea for the name of the Ocean Runner, let me know. Leave it in the comments section. If you've got any ideas for uh, the name of the boat, also leave it in the comments section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Sweet Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.